Oh, you're headed back to Reen? Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. <sighs> to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? Hmm. Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Police? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. W what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too, it's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. I'm sorry. I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever. And I swear on Adios's name that I never will. R really? I'm happy to hear that. All right, then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. R really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you are the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> You're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. Y you did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. 
I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay mother and father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family. Are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <sighs> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son. And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under imperial law. Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from, or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir. And eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility, except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family, and I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind, but at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how Father feels. You don't understand how Mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Elise. Well, what are you doing just standing there? W what are you... Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <sighs> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going! <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. It's no 
use. I can't sense her anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus.
do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Australia Academy uniform. That has to be her! Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck up first year, what's his name? High Arms, I think? Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reen Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? First. Why does he never think about what would make him happy? I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him and with myself? Who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? I I'm sorry, I... No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... W wait right I, I I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Hyams It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah Elise such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? Uh, as in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? I yes Reen is my elder brother. Ugh. Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no, no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! Th that way... You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Oh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked. 
So I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You. Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. I I did no such thing. I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then when she took off running this way, I, I followed her out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Huh. This place. The door wasn't locked. A cat? saw earlier. I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. Where are you? Hmm, no sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? Police? Scream? 
It came from farther inside. It came from below. What, what is this place? Wow, this is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. D don't call me that! Is he trying to suppress his power? <sighs> no, I'm not going to be swallowed by it any more.
I don't have a chance of beating that thing, but I have to try anyway. To take back myself, and take back what I lost that winter's day. What? You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, Catastrophe. T don't call me that either! Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. My turn. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. Arcus activate. Go. Handsome and strong, I'm the total package. I thought I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Krull. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah, I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Reen, are you alright? 
Is your sister... Oh, good! It looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, <sighs> good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. Radio Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's Aubin time, shall we? It's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off its summer festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the summer races. But the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. 